Welcome to the Abiding Word broadcast. Well, happy is the people whose God is the Lord. Hallelujah to God. Aren't you happy that you're saved and born again? I don't know about you, but I am. I'm free from sin because I know that I've been born again. Praise the name of God. Hallelujah. This is Evangelist Dudley Smith, and welcome to the Abiding Word broadcast. We're so glad that you joined us today. We know that you're going to be blessed by our anointed music and edified by uh, the teaching or the preaching of the word of God. Hallelujah. And you don't want to go anywhere. Stay for the whole program because at the end of the program, we're going to be praying the prayer of faith just for you. So get set. Hallelujah. Stay with us. We're going to be right back right after this message. These are tough times in which we live. With health pandemics, rising medical difficulties, financial strains, social unrest, wars and murders, and much more. How can we, as Christians, find help in the midst of the storms? The strength of the believer is our prayer life, but with many, our prayer life is challenged on a daily basis. Faith and prayer are our greatest weapons. Our new book, The Prayer Life of the Believer, will renew your passion for a stronger walk with God. In this book, we address subjects such as seeking the face of God, the effectual prayer, activating the hand of God, as well as subjects on desire, trust, faith, and much more. The Prayer Life of the Believer book will help you take that next step in your relationship with God. Get your copy today by going to our website at www.dudleysmithonline.net. Click the DSM Music and Books tab to place your order today. It will change your life, so get your copy right now.
And thy goodness, Lord, oh, is pouring out on me. It's satisfying my longing and supply my every need. Now I'm walking daily with my bird. to be the Savior, <laughs> hallelujah, and let his glory roll. I sing a song uh, uh, that says that. Praise God. Glory to God. I hope you're having a wonderful day in the Lord. Praise God. We're so glad to have you with us on today's broadcast. Praise the name of Jesus. We're in the middle of our teaching series on the flesh and the spirit. Glory to God. And uh, oh, we've gotten just a little bit over halfway with this. Glory to God. Praise God. In our last session, we talk about the spirit of love, the fruit of love. Praise God. Hallelujah to God. And we're going to be talking about uh, the fruit of joy or the characteristic of joy. Praise God. But let's read our base scripture. Faith, uh, glory. Uh, coming out of Galatians chapter 20, uh, uh, chapter 5, rather, verses 22 through 23. But the fruit of the spirit is love, joy, peace, long-suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith, meekness, temperance, against such there is no law. Praise the name of Jesus. As we read in Galatians 5.22, glory to God, we see that uh, the Word of God mentions the aspect of joy. Glory to God. The fruit of the Spirit in involves having joy or the experience of joy. Hallelujah to God. We understand and we know, praise God, that joy is a part of the kingdom of God. Joy is a part of the kingdom of God. Hallelujah. I want you to note uh, the relationship between uh, the Holy Ghost or the Holy Spirit uh, and joy. And there are several uh, passages that speak to this in the word of God. And maybe we'll look at a couple <clears throat> of them. Pardon me. We'll look at a couple of them. Praise Jesus. Hallelujah to God. We understand that again, as I said, that joy is a part of the kingdom of God, of God rather. In Romans chapter 14, verse 17, this scripture comes to mind. For the kingdom of God is not meat and drink, but righteousness, peace, and joy in the Holy Ghost. Praise the name of God. The kingdom of God is not meat and drink. But righteousness, peace, and joy in the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. You see, 
the kingdom of God and those which call ourselves and say and profess that Jesus is Lord and that we are part of the kingdom of God. Hallelujah. We should possess a joy. Glory to God that only the spirit can give that only uh, uh, the, the, the spirit can birth in us. Hallelujah to God. You can have uh, uh, earthly joy or worldly joy, even fleshly joy. Those things last for a season. But the joy that the Spirit of the Lord produces in our life is everlasting and can be everlasting. And this is the kingdom of God. In other words, how do you know kingdom people? They are joyful. Praise God. They are joyful. They are happy. Glory to God. They got a smile on their face. They, they are very optimistic people. Hallelujah. Not pessimistic people. Don't you just hate being around sad Christians? Don't you just hate being around people that are always down in the mully grub, always complaining, never got anything good to say? Glory to God. Hallelujah. Who wants to be around those kind of people? You know, when we get to heaven, there's going to be joy. Hallelujah to God. There's going to be everlasting joy. Hallelujah to God. Praise the name of God. Hallelujah. The Bible tells us that happy is the people whose God is the Lord. Are you happy today? You can be happy. Just let the spirit of God, hallelujah, burst forth in your life. Hallelujah. And let watch joy begin to take place. You know, we got a lot to be thankful for. We got a lot to be joyful for. Bless Jesus. We have a lot uh, uh, to, to, to praise him for. Glory to God, to magnify him, to glorify the Lord. And so there is no real reason for us who are saved and born again to have our head down in the mud. Glory to God. You know, we go through this life. We drag ourselves through the dirt uh, and the dust. Glory to God. And we act like we have no friend in the world. Glory to God. But the song comes to mind. Oh, what a friend we have in Jesus. And if you know that Jesus is really your friend, glory to God, he's your friend and he's my friend, then we can have joy, glory to God, joy unspeakable and full of glory. Hallelujah to God. And so we understand, and we at least I want to get you to understand, that being a part of the kingdom of God, God hallelujah to God, you will exhibit joy. You will exhibit happiness. Praise the name of of Jesus. Glory to God. You'll be uh, happy all the time. Glory to God uh, forevermore. Hallelujah to God. Now there's a scripture in the, another scripture in the Bible we want to look at. Glory to God. Out of 1 Thessalonians uh, to chapter 1 verse 6. 1 Thessalonians chapter 1 verse 6 says this. And ye became followers of us and, and of the Lord, having received the word in much affliction with joy of the Holy Ghost, with joy of the Holy Ghost, glory to God. You receive the, 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 the word in much affliction. You know, people, they don't like and cater too much, particularly today, to the word of God. Folk hate the Bible. The world hates God's word. Glory to God. But we receive God's word, although we receive it in much disdain. We receive it with the disapproval of the world, but we receive it. We live by it. We walk by it. Praise the name of God. But the scripture goes on to say, we do it with joy, with the joy of the Holy Ghost. Praise the name of God. God's spirit, the Holy Spirit, loves his own word. He joy, he joys in his own word. He glories in his own word. Bless the name of God. And if we receive the word of God, we can glory in the word of God with the joy of the Holy Spirit. Praise the name of Jesus. Glory to God. And now, so we see that we receive the word. We see God uh, doing uh, his great things and wondrous works in our life. Hallelujah. God. We are glad about it. Praise Jesus. We are glad about it. Aren't you glad you're saved? Aren't you glad you're born again? Aren't you glad your name is written down in the Lamb's book of life? Glory to God. 
I, 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 my mind goes back to <clears throat> a particular story in the Bible where uh, the disciples had gone out. Uh, glory to God. And they went out with power, praise God, and they came back and they were rejoicing, uh, glory to God, over the power that God had given them, that Christ had bestowed upon them. Glory to God. And they came back saying, Lord, even the devils are subject unto us. Praise God. You know what Jesus uh, responded saying? Glory to God. I know that the devil is rejoicing, is, is, is subject unto you. I saw him fall from heaven like lightning. Glory to God. He says, but rather than having joy in that, praise God, the joy you are exhibiting, glory to God, uh, 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 be glad that your name is written down in the Lamb's book of life. You ought to be glad you're saved more than anything because your destiny was not heaven as you came into this world. Glory to God. You had a different destiny, but God through Jesus redeemed your life. Praise the name of Jesus. And now your name is written down in the Lamb's book of life. Glory to God. And so that's the reason why you should, number one, have joy in your life. Be glad then, the Bible says, hallelujah, for God shall do wondrous things, great and mighty things uh, in your life. Glory to God. Hallelujah. The, 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 the joy of the Lord, glory to God, is an, an abiding joy. What's an abiding joy? An abiding joy, glory to God, is a joy that never ends. Praise God. Glory to God. When something abides, it stays. Glory to God. It homesteads, praise God, in a fixed position. When you have abiding joy in your life, it has set up a homestead. It stays. It never wanes. Bless the name of Jesus. Hallelujah to God. It's expressible and it is full of glory. Hallelujah. First Peter, glory to God, uh, chapter one, verses six, seven and eight gives us this scripture. Read along with me. Wherein ye greatly rejoice, th uh, though now for a season, if need be, ye are in heaviness through manifold temptations. That the trial, uh, the trial of your faith being much more precious than of gold that perisheth, though it be tried with fire, might be found unto praise and glory and honor at the appearing of Jesus, whom having not seen you love, though now you see him not, yet believing ye rejoice with joy unspeakable and full of glory. Hallelujah to God. Have you ever anticipated something so much that every time you thought about it, it brought joy to your heart? When we were kids, glory to God, and we were uh, uh, coming up on the Christmas season, and uh, we were uh, thinking about the gifts and the presents that we may receive on Christmas morning, glory to God, at the thought of it, we had joy. We had gladness. Just at the very thought of it, praise the name of God. We didn't know that the icon of, of commercial Christmas was not a real person. Maybe he was, maybe he wasn't. Praise the name of God. Hallelujah. We just know, hallelujah, that it was going to be a day of joy. It was going to be a day of gladness. Praise the name of Jesus. Well, don't you know, praise God, that in Jesus Christ, hallelujah to God, that one day he's going to appear Praise God. And those of us that have not ever seen him, yet we believe in him. Praise God. We're going to see him. Praise the name of God. Hallelujah to God. And we will rejoice even greatly. Praise God. Glory to God. Why? Because we believe in him. I believe in him. I hope you are uh, believing and trusting in the Lord as your Savior. Praise God. The Bible says we have joy unspeakable. Can you imagine how much joy that is, that you are speechless, speechless joy. Glory to God forevermore. Hallelujah to God. You don't find people with that kind of joy uh, uh, much. Glory to God. Speechless joy. Always got a smile on their face. Always got a, 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 a very uh, engaging disposition. Praise the name of Jesus. Hallelujah to God. Joy unspeakable and full 
hallelujah to God, of glory, full of the goodness and the good works of the Lord. Hallelujah to God. This is what we have to bring ourselves to. Hallelujah to God the, uh, and glory to God to live that kind of life. Glory to God. I want God's joy full in my life. Now, I understand this, that it comes by living and walking after the spirit. That's how it comes. Walking after the Spirit. You can't get this on your own. You'll miss it every time. It comes by walking after the Spirit and not the flesh. Praise God. It comes by adhering to the things of God. Hallelujah. By being uh, glad after His Word. Praise God. Hallelujah. By being uh, 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 happy to be in His presence. Glory to God. To have the presence of the Lord. It comes, praise God, when we give ourselves to the lifestyle of spiritual walk. Hallelujah. According to the word of God. Praise God. Hallelujah. He fills us with joy. When the fruit of the spirit is produced, hallelujah, joy comes out of it. It's an ingredient of the fruit of the spirit. It's a part of the molecular structure, so to speak, a spiritual molecular structure of the fruit of the spirit is joy. Praise the name of God. Praise God. You know, when you think about fruit, you think about something that you consume. You think about something that you eat. Hallelujah to God. When you put something in your mouth and your taste buds gets to uh, experience, uh, experiencing, hallelujah to God, uh, 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 the act of eating, glory to God. Many times we say, well, it tastes like, and it tastes like, and it tastes like, and it tastes like. That's the fruit of the spirit. How does it taste in your life? How does it taste in your mouth? Praise God. It should taste like love and it should taste like joy. Oh, come on, somebody. Praise the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. David said, oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. Hallelujah. Does the Lord, does the fruit of God's spirit taste good to your spirit? Hallelujah to God. Praise God. It should taste like joy. It should give you a reaction of joy. Praise God. In the name of Jesus, hallelujah to God. And when we ingest and when we ingest and walk after the fruit of the spirit, glory to God, we experience joy. Hallelujah. Joy comes with a confidence, a hallelujah, in God, our confidence, our, our faith in God. Praise the name of Jesus in, in uh, Philippians chapter 125. Glory to God. The word gives us this and having this confidence. I know that I shall abide and continue with you for all your furtherance and joy of faith. Hallelujah to God. Hallelujah. Uh, uh, without faith in God and Christ, we cannot experience, experience, experience rather, I'll get it out, uh, the uh, uh, God's abiding joy. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Faith must be there. You have got to have faith hallelujah as you walk with god as you live for god praise god you're in the kingdom have faith in the god of the kingdom hallelujah to god if you're in the kingdom praise god exhibit kingdom attitude exhibit kingdom lifestyle Praise the name of Jesus. Exhibit love and joy. Exhibit joy. You're in the kingdom. Praise God. Hallelujah to God. You did nothing to deserve to be in that except have faith in God through Jesus Christ. By the works of the cross of Calvary brought you into the kingdom. Hallelujah to God. And so you can have joy inexplicable, un Speakable, hallelujah to God, glory to God, that you cannot even express sometimes the way you feel about it, hallelujah. We used to sing a song in the old days, glory to God, that said, uh, that said this, what do you think about Jesus? And, 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 and we would uh, uh, answer by saying, singing, he's all right. He's all right with me and he ought to be all right with you. 
Glory to God. That's how, that's an expression of joy. Praise the name of God. Hallelujah, God. It is good to be, how good and, and perfect, blessed it is for brethren to come and dwell together. We ought to have a joy to be with each other. We should have a joy, praise God, to experience, hallelujah, this life together. Brother saved, sister saved, praise the name of God. A part of the a congregation, a part of the church of the living God. Bless the name of Jesus. Glory to God. We are called, glory to God, to walk in and experience the abiding joy of the Lord. Glory to God. And when you walk after the spirit and not after the flesh, praise God, you're going to experience that joy. Hallelujah. When faith in God is is vibrant and working, glory to God, you cannot help but experience this uh, abiding joy. Glory to God forevermore. Glory to God. This kind of joy sustains us in life. It sustains us. Glory to God. It helps us to maintain. It helps us to go on. When we get to those moments where it seems like uh, uh, the, the trials and temptations that come our way, glory to God, makes us want to turn our back and, 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 and give up and throw up our hand, hallelujah to God, the joy of the Lord, the joy in the Spirit, the joy that comes by the Holy Spirit, God's abiding joy, hallelujah, picks us up, glory to God, glory to God, encourages us, keeps us encouraged, hallelujah to God. My Lord, it's nothing like being encouraged in the Lord, or it's nothing like being uh, uh, encouraged because of the promises of God. You can have joy, praise God, and people may not understand why you still have joy. You're going through something. You're facing something in your life. But out of all of the trial and the tribulation and the hard way that you may be experiencing right now, there's a joy on the inside of you that is waiting to burst forth. Praise the name of God. Hallelujah to God. My, my quest today, uh, uh, my focus today, my intentions today, praise God, is that uh, 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 the joy of the Lord would be awakened in your life. Hallelujah to God. Realize that you are walking after the Spirit, and as you do, uh, glory, the joy of the Lord, praise God, is ever-present. Glory to God forevermore. You see, when you got joy, hallelujah to God, you have everything, hallelujah, to sustain you. Faith and joy and love. Bless the name of Jesus. Nehemiah said it this way. Then he said to them, go your way, eat the fat and drink the sweet and send portions unto them to have nothing uh, is prepared for this day the, the ho uh, is holy unto the Lord. Neither be sorry for the joy of the Lord is your strength. Hallelujah to God. It's the joy of the Lord that is our strength. Praise the name of you. I got to stop right here. Glory to God forevermore. I thank you for joining me, uh, for joining us today. Glory to God. And come back again. Glory to God for another edition of the Abiding Word. God bless you. And we'll see you again. Well, it looks like our time has come and gone again for another uh, edition of the Abiding Word broad broadcast. But we're so glad that you were with us today. And we want to pray a special prayer of faith for you right now. Father, in Jesus' name. God, we thank you, God. We bless you, Father. Hallelujah. That we can come to you and make our needs known before you, Father. God, I ask God, Lord, that you touch, Father, in Jesus' name. Somebody need a healing in their body, God. Lord, give a healing right now. Let the healing virtue that flow from Calvary flow to your son or daughter right now in the name of Jesus. Somebody needs deliverance, Father. Many of your children need deliverance, Father, from the pestilence that have gone throughout the land, God, Lord. Deliver miraculously right now in the name of Jesus, God. And we give you praise and we give you honor, God. And we're going to bless your name. Hallelujah, God, because we receive what we pray for, Father. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Praise the name of Jesus. Now, if this program has been a blessing to you, glory to God. We'd love to hear from you. You can email us at dudleysmith at bellsouth.net. That's Dudley Smith at bellsouth.net, or if you prefer, you can write us. Send us a letter in the mail at Dudley Smith Ministries, 607 Cynthia Court, Goldsboro, North Carolina, 27534. 
Now, any of the music and books that are advertised on our program can be purchased from our website at www.dudleysmithonline.net. We thank you for joining us today, and we hope to see you again on another edition of The Abiding Word. God bless you, and be blessed in the Lord all week long. Hi, this is Linda Smith. For great gospel music by Evangelist Dudley Smith, go to www.dudleysmithonline.net and click on the DSM Media tab. You will see the link to our radio station. You'll also hear music from artists like The Crap Family, The Tallies, Donnie Rambo, Janet Paschal, and yes, Dudley Smith. This is Christian Radio at its best. This station is on 24 hours a day. So hurry, come on over and start listening now. You'll be blessed all day long. The Expository on the Book of Genesis is a great resource in helping us understand the nature of God, His power and purpose, and His plan for our life. This book gives you commentary on each verse of Scripture that provides information which causes the book of Genesis to come alive. You need this commentary for your study library. Get your copy today at www.dudleysmithonline.net and we will get it out to you right away. Enjoy your study of the book of Genesis.